Malaysia says no to being a dumping ground for the developed world's waste. Hello, I'm Arnold Naidu and this is The Heat. Heat. The disposal of plastic and electronic waste poses a major environmental and health challenge for countries around the world. And for developing nations like Malaysia, the issue has become political. In May, Malaysia announced that it would no longer be, dumping ground, uh, be a dumping ground for plastic waste from the developed world. Meanwhile, electronic waste disposal is an issue impacting African countries like Ghana. And all of this poses one big question. Are rich countries using developing nations as waste disposal dump sites? We begin with this report from CGTN's John Gilmore. You can see the evidence up close. Plastic waste from European and other developed nations piled high in garbage dumps a world away in Malaysia. Some major countries dumping their trash in the Asian nation include Australia, Britain, Canada, France, Japan and the United States. As a leading destination for plastic scrap, imports to Malaysia tripled between 2013 and last year, amounting to about 870,000 tonnes. Now, Malaysia says it's had enough and its Minister of Energy announced last month that 3,000 tonnes of plastic waste will be shipped back to the countries it came from. Whoever that sent their, their waste to Malaysia, whether it's e-waste, whether it's plastic waste or whatever waste, we will send it back. And we will fight back. Even though we are a small country, we cannot be bullied by developed countries. The minister says that 150 illegal recycling plants have already been shut down as Malaysia tries to combat pollution and respond to health issues. Our village has become the victim of this incineration, with the pungent smell of burning in their noses. The villagers find it very difficult to sleep at night. People are more and more worried about how these factories threaten their health, especially their children. For years, China was the top importer and recycler of the world's plastic waste, much of it from the West but it stopped taking it last year, citing environmental and public health concerns. Still, other Asian countries beyond Malaysia, including the Philippines, Thailand and Vietnam, are also dealing with waste disposal dumping from developed nations. The Philippines is returning dozens of containers of trash to Canada that it says were illegally shipped to its country. Meanwhile, Ghana is one of several African countries struggling with the toxic effects of electronic or e-waste, also being shipped there from the West. The Agbablashi waste site outside Accra processes hundreds of thousands of used electronics, mainly from European countries like Germany. A United Nations report notes that 50 million tons of electronic waste is being disposed of each year. That's projected to nearly triple by 2050. The disposal and recycling of plastics and electronic waste is now a big global business. But from Africa to Asia, finding solutions that address health and environmental issues in developing countries will likely remain a significant challenge. John Gilmore, CGTN.